Hi, my name is Ellie. I am one half of Tussles and today I'm here to tell you all about the Sheep's Head Way. The Sheep's Head Way is a looped trail on the Sheep's Head Peninsula in County Cork. There are a couple of different route options you can take when walking this trail, with most through hikes varying from 1 to 200 kilometres. The most regularly quoted distance is 175 kilometres. Depending on the route you choose, this trail can take between 4 to 7 days, and it was our 22nd trail when walking all 42 of Ireland's National Waymark trails. Bantry is the largest town and most common starting point, so we started there too. We walk this route over six days in a non-sequential order. As you leave Bantry, the trail takes you up through the beautiful gardens of Bantry House, before heading out along small country lanes and into quiet fields, following a gentle uphill. The geography of the area is pretty special. The peninsula has a ridge running down its full length, creating a spine for the headland. The northern side of the trail uses this ridge line nearly the whole way along the peninsula. We varied our route day to day to suit the weather, as it's unadvised to walk the ridge line when the weather is bad. However, when the weather is good, walking this ridge line is beautiful. We cross many false summits as the trail takes you higher and higher, providing such a variety of views that we couldn't not fall in love with the place. In one of the deepest and widest saddles that the trail crosses, you will find the Mass Path. This path has been here as long as houses have been on the peninsula. Over the following days, we continued along the high ridge from Ahagista along Seafin to Cahargal. This part of the north section follows the Horseshoe Road, a road that has so many ups, downs, twists and switchbacks, and potholes that it gets far more foot traffic than motorised. The south side section took us through Duras, Ahakista, Kilkerhan and Letter West. I thought that because we were walking the lower half of the trail, this would be the less beautiful part, because not every section of a trail can be perfect. However, I was pleasantly wrong. The trail hugged the coastline as much as it could, and the small cliffs, choppy water, and low-lying fog made for an intimate wildness. The end of the peninsula is marked with a small lighthouse. To find it, follow the arrow painted on the rock face and descend the bright red handrail zigzagging down the steep slope in front of you. The area around the end of the head is also filled with remnants of the mining that was done in that area, ruins of cottages and mine shafts dotting the landscape. We passed the lighthouse on our final day, and passing Bernie's Cup on Tay, we scrambled our way up the hill to camp, the old World War II lookout post. The small concrete box room is missing all doors and windows, but offers a spot to rest. For us, it was the perfect place to stop against the howling wind that day. Like many of the trails along the southwest peninsulas of Cork and Kerry, the Sheepshead Way has sections that would suit every walker, but I only recommend the whole trail to someone who has previous hiking experience. Being less famous than the trails in Kerry, the Sheep's Head Way sees a lot less foot traffic and is a great place if you're looking to find some peace and quiet. Some of the main towns and villages along the way are Bantry, Durs, Ahakista and Kilcrahan. The north side of the peninsula is sparsely populated. It's important that you stock up on whatever you need before setting out on this trail. There is indoor accommodation available in this area and pre-planning would be advised. The majority of this trail is off-road and if walking in the wetter months, boots would be required. There are great guidebooks for this area that are filled with the history and folklore that you can find there. If you're looking for public transport options, Bantry is the largest town and is serviced with many buses. For more information on all I've just said, including our free maps, blogs and full length videos, make sure to check out the description. These videos are made possible by the amazing people who support us on Patreon. It's through their support that we can keep creating and I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. It's really, really meant so much. This week, I'd like to say a special thank you to Peter and Amanda, to PCOK, and to Maura Welch. Thank you guys so, so much. And yeah, I will see you in our next video.